Hi you guys, it's Vicky Lou and I'm I'm fixing to do my today's look um, on this eye. I already did this eye. I don't know if y'all can see it real good, but I'm finna do show you guys what I did to create this look. I just add a little more spunk to it. <laughs> First I use this LA Colors palette. I use this orange here as my base color. For my orange in the corner here. For my base orange. It's darker. I didn't really want the orange to be real, real bright because my shirt was just too bright. So to tone it down I used a little pale orange. Okay. After I did that, I used this blue off for here too. This blue because I had on some light blue skinny jeans. I was looking good today, y'all. I have them light blue skinny jeans on. <laughs> and I use this blue. But as I blend it, the blue will begin to fade out. And I use, I'm not going to hold this 120 palette up, but I use it off of the top palette. This It's like a kind of orange. It kind of, here it is. It's kind of shimmery. And I'm going to use that on this in the corner on my lid. You see that? And after I did that, I used this blue at the top on the first palette. It's like the third blue on this first row of the top palette for 120. And I went on the top of this. It's a lighter blue. Because that's about the color of my skinny jeans. Just to make it blend and still kind of have that base color after you blend it. Okay, then I took these colors and I blended them. So they're kind of almost fade away. And I blended them upward also. So it'll get into the crease. But I want the orange, the orange to fade into the blue. See how the orange kind of faded away too much. Y'all, I can't believe I'm doing a quick catch. I can't believe it. Okay. I want it to fade a lot in here, but in the middle, I want you to be able to tell exactly what it is. And I blend it up so you can't see any lines or any creases. And then as I blended it upward, I used this color off of 120 palette. It's the second tray, the first row, the third color. This color, it looks like it's like almost cream you probably can't see because my white walls in the back but it looks almost cream but when you put it on it is a beautiful gold i love this oh that's too much i love this color i love this color i love this color y'all it is fabulous and you blend that kind of blend it downward it is this color looks so good so if you have a 120 palette Check out the second palette, third, it's in the white section, it's the third one. It is pretty as hell. And that's my highlight. And I didn't do this this morning, but I added a little spunk to this. I used the charcoal black. I was with the 120 palette, and I kind of just hit it up. Just a little in the crease here. Being that I didn't really put a color there, I just kind of blended it. But just a little, because it's... That charcoal will get everywhere if you don't know what you're doing. And I don't have my days where I didn't know what I was doing at all. And that stuff, I did well like now and maybe a little bit too much. I just want to blend it. Just keep blending until you get it like you want it to look. You know? You don't have to be exactly like mine. You see that? I don't know if the camera will like you to see it. But I'll take some pictures at the end. And after I do that, I want to put on my eyeliner. This is Hip. Y'all see the NYX on my shirt? I use this Hip Black Eyeliner here. I love this eyeliner, y'all. It is worth $12. I promise you it is. I love it. Walgreens have their hip products on sale till this week. I think they'll be on sale till Saturday. So if y'all want some hip products, 
Walgreens have them buy one get one free just like the yes. But I've been had this. I just don't really use it. Y'all. Okay. Just a little on the top. And on my bottom lid. That's enough on the waterline. Now hold up. Because you don't want it to look too smoky. I love smoky looks though, but not too smoky. And then I want to use my mascara. I already had on some earlier. I tried to wipe it off with my makeup remover so I could do this tutorial for you guys. I came off a little bit. I just thought I'm doing a quick catch. I'm not gonna be able to put pictures at the end of this or uh, if I can I don't know how to. I don't think you can though. I should just did it on one of those media maker. But it just take that shit so long to upload, y'all. I hate doing this shit. Like I have cock high speed. It goes pretty fast, but sometimes, you know, it has its days and that shit goes slow as hell. But um this is what I use for my blush, and this is made by Sugar. This is gorgeous, you guys. It's called Gingerbread Bait. I loved it. I put it on my cheekbone. I normally go three to four times, depending on what color and how it's blending out. <clears throat> and I'm going to take this Hip Vibrant Shimmer Bronzer. This is Bless, $8.95. And I'm going to go over that just once. Just to tone it down a little so it won't look, you know, like my face is shiny. So it won't look as shiny. And here is my Thursday look. Do y'all like it? I don't know if you can see it good or not. But this is how it looks. I don't know how it, I have to look at it. But, um, yeah, this eye is not exactly like this eye, y'all. I swear it ain't. I swear it ain't. But I got, like, three minutes left. But, um, I want my lips. I use Juicy Bubblegum. I have a lot of this, y'all. This shit is good. Let me let y'all see. Can y'all read the inscription? Uh, you probably can't. But, anyway. I um, was watching. I forgot her name. And I am so sorry. I apologize. But, she had did a, um like a video on removing your makeup with I Love All. And I have been doing that ever since I saw her video, you guys. And it has my skin so freaking moist. I'm talking about it has your skin moist. And then, you know, like when you get ready to use a moisturizer in the morning or whenever you get ready to put on your makeup, you don't even have to use that much because after you've been on wipe your makeup off the night before with the olive oil, it has your skin so, oh my God, 